All right. You Utils. Oh my God, there's so much to say. And I just want to start off by saying I think I smell a rat. I, I really do. And um, we're going to get into it. So if you couldn't tell, I am not a big fan of Ubuntu. I'm not a big fan of some of these projects, but I'm really not a fan of this. And I'm going to get into it today. I'm going to tell you exactly why I'm not a fan of this, because I think it's worth talking about. So what is UUtils? Well, it's uh, basically a program in Rust to replace core utils, LS, CP, that sort of thing. Then like the find utils, like find, locate, update, DB, XRGs, that sort of thing, diff utils, all of these projects, right? And uh, we're replacing them. And you might say, well, that sounds kind of cool because it's written in Rust, right? And I totally get that. And I think that's a valid argument. I think it's a valid point. However, there's just something that I have to get off my chest because I'm about to ready to blow a top. And uh, I'll try not to make this too much of a rant, but just uh, <laughs> buyer beware, so to speak. So, so let's get into it. You know, I don't think it's a secret that there has been this big push to remove Linus Torvald, Richard Stallman, the FSF, all of these things away from open source, away from the Linux community. And this push is huge and it has a lot of real backers. I mean, like the developers for Arch Linux. I mean, this is crazy talk. I mean, here we got our freedom back. I don't know if you guys remember proprietary software, but I sure as hell do. And I certainly don't want to go back to those days, but I guess some people do. Some people want to go backwards and they say, oh, well, we'll compromise just a little bit to get a little bit more expediency. No, don't get me wrong. I'm really not an open source purist like Richard Stallman. I don't have a 14 year old laptop. Well, maybe I do. But beside the point, I actually um, have a pretty new laptop. I run Linux on it. And I actually, I'm a little bit of a modernist, right? I like my laptop to look good. Let me just show you what I mean. Right now, I am running Ublue Aurora or Aurora Ublue, whatever, Aurora DX, this immutable system, because I love the concept. I love the development of it. And I'm going to get back to that in a minute because I think there is some really important things to discuss. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's get back to the video. So what's wrong with rewriting all of these, you know, like the core utils in Rust? Nothing. In fact, I use EXA or EZA, however you want to say it. I use it. I use all kinds of utilities that are written in Rust, and I love them. So it isn't the fact that it's written in Rust. In fact, I could care less. Here's what the issue is. I'm going to show you right here. You have Core Utils, which is a major, major utility in the open source world, right? Especially in the GNU Linux kernel, right? This is a, a fundamental package, if you will. And what do we have right here? This is why I say I'm smelling a rat. Right here, MIT license. I don't, I don't freak out when I see the MIT license in open source or in Linux projects. I mean, for example, there are all kinds of alternative, you know, open source licenses that people use in Gentoo, in Slackware, in, you know, Crux, in, you know, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, and the like. This is something that's very common. And maybe because they really want to close source it in the future, I've said for, I don't know, probably eight years that I thought Ubuntu would eventually go closed source. 
I really still stand by that. I know a lot of people would say, oh yeah, you're just exaggerating. You're blowing everything out of proportion. And when they went to the GNOME desktop, that's when I saw the writing on the wall with Ubuntu. And I had been seeing it for a while. I'd been seeing some, you know, alarming trends. But when they went to the GNU desktop, something told me if they were willing to just give a stiff middle finger to everybody who used Unity, everybody who was waiting for the Unity 8 desktop, hmm, what else would they be willing to do? I mean, I'm dead serious here. It, this just boggles my mind. We got a vermin piece of excrement here who is trying to pull a fast one on all of us. I mean, he really is. He's trying to pull a fast one on all of us. And he's trying to, I don't know, pretend that we're not going to notice. We're not going to notice what license it is. We're not going to notice what, you know, what core utils belong to. Oh, it's all about modernization. Now, don't get me wrong. I think and I truly believe in my heart that sometimes people will choose an MIT license because they just don't want to fuss with licensing. I think that that is true. And I think sometimes that could be the case. But why are they choosing this? And then choosing the MIT license. You know, this huge move to push the old guard out of the whole Linux world, the whole... Linux kernel and the development and free and open source software and licensing and all of that. You know, it's just mind boggling how all of these big projects, people in the Debian project, people in Arch Linux, Fedora, Red Hat, you know, I there's even a couple of people on Gentoo, NixOS, all of these projects are wanting to push the old guard out and they're ganging up on them and I think it's incumbent upon us to just say no 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 that's not what we're about what are you supposedly gonna get out of switching licenses or changing the definitions of licenses what are you going to get what you suddenly gonna get more commercial commercialization now, I'm not sure that commercialization success it should be the goal of people who use open source. I'm not certain of that. So in the name of expediency, we're just going to throw everything away? We're just going to throw the, the baby out with the bathwater? Is that what we're saying? I don't know, man. This just smells like a rat. Now, DT... DistroTube, Derek Taylor, who, however you want to address him. Now, I'm a huge fan of his. He made a comment just yesterday, something that I kind of take issue with. Let's hear what he has to say, all right? ...of the core utils in Rust, but they also want to get rid of the GNU licensing. This is yep. not licensed as GPL software. The UUtils is actually licensed under the MIT license, which is a very permissive license. Now, there's nothing wrong with the MIT license necessarily. I mean, you're free to put any license on your software you want. I would never tell anybody what license to put on their software. Wrong. No. When it comes to Linux, when it comes to like the core packages that come with the kernel, we're not free to put any license we want. We shouldn't be. Okay, yeah, technically, legally, whatever, but that doesn't make it right. I don't know what to do about this. You know, part of me just thinks we're just completely screwed in the open source world. I, I, I really think, in my heart of hearts, that we're just screwed. I mean, give me a piece of hope because... I don't have any. I don't have any hope 
whatsoever that somehow we're not all going to get screwed and somehow we're going to murky up the waters and the next thing you know, everything's behind a paywall, everything's behind this or that. It's going to be 1995 all over again with Microsoft, with OS 9, I guess, back then. That's what we're looking at. Now, most of you don't remember it, but I do. I remember how tough it was just to have basic software that worked. And you can say, well, you know, anybody's free to put open source uh, software. But if you redefine what open source is, I I'm still trying to like wrap my brain around like, OK, so now these people take over the GPL movement, the GPL3, GPL2, G uh, LGPL 2, 2 and 3, etc. They take over these licenses, and then what do we got to do? What's our recourse of action? We got to sit there and tuck our head between our legs like a couple, a couple of whipped puppies and do it all over again. You see how fast things are going by the time we get to where we have freedom again we have an alternative it's going to be too late you know all of these people who are opposing richard stallman and uh opposing lennis torvalds and the old guard i don't think you're going to get what you want i don't think in the name of expediency you're going to get what you want and it's really sad because, you know, in 2008, when I started using Linux, I found something. I found something that was unique. I found something to belong to, something that I was proud of. I was like, dude, we won the war. We're winning it. And we're still winning it because now Microsoft is giving us money. Why? Because our stuff works. But now we have to bring in all these good ideas. You remember that saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions? Well, it certainly applies here. I, honestly, I like, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what the end goal is. I can't see it. I mean, part of me like doesn't really care because, you know, as a Christian, I believe that Jesus is coming back in his white horse in my lifetime, most likely. But if he doesn't, and this isn't hyperbole here, we are screwed. I don't know how else to put it. And, you know, the simple fact of the matter is, like, there are a lot of projects who use alternative license, and I want to, like, emphasize this just one more time, because maybe you're skipping around, or maybe this doesn't isn't getting through, but Void Linux uses a BSD license. Many projects that I love uses a BSD license. I don't care. But when it comes to that kernel... Oh my God, you better stay the hell away from it. I, You know, like everything else, like there, there are reasons to have different licenses and I'm not against using different licenses, but when it comes to that kernel, you better leave it alone. All right, I got it out of my system now. Feel a little bit better. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I didn't you know, go on a tirade of explicatives or anything like that. And I mean, really, you know, that was my first temptation, you know, just, just light into these people and call them, you know, dirty, rotten, whatever. And kind of did, but not, not like I wanted to. So I'm a little proud of myself for that, but you know, we got to wait and see. We got to wait and see who's going to come up and actually care about open source software. I mean, R Richard Stallman has cancer and we don't know how much longer he's going to live. And 
it's sad that it's gotten to this. And I really was proud of using open source. I was proud of contributing to open source. And now these people want to just kind of rip the carpet out from under my feet. I don't think if there was someone like Richard Stallman, I don't think I would have cared. I mean, maybe. Anyway, you know what? You know the drill. Check out my Discord server or my merchandise. And if you want to binge watch my stuff, go right on ahead. I hope you like this video. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>